G'day, Lemon Eating Cow here, and I really can't believe it, but I'm finally saying Dragon's Dogma 2 is out. If you are yet to pick up the game and you're still working out whether or not you want the Deluxe Edition or the Standard Edition, then this video is definitely for you, because I'll go over all of the items you get with the Deluxe Edition, and whether or not it is worthwhile. So to cut right to the chase, will you miss out on any game changing and permanently missable items if you don't get the Deluxe Edition? Well, in my opinion, no. And if you stick around, I'll go into more detail about why that exactly is. So with the Deluxe Edition, you get a few items with it and some Rift Crystals as well as some music and sound collections. So the first item that we'll be going over is the camping gear. Now the camping gear is an item that you can use in the game at various campfires around the world and you can use it to rest with your party. This thing is with this particular Explorer's camping kit, it will be available in the shops in a later date in the game. The only advantage to getting this early on is that compared to the two other camping kits that you do get on very early in the game, this is 2.5 carrying weight lower than those. This comes in at five carrying weight instead of 7.5. And that is quite a substantial difference, but by no means is it a game breaker or a game changer. It is nice to have that luxury of that extra, that two kilos or 2.5 kilos carrying, but um, really this is something that's gonna become available later on the game. But again, nice to have early. Next, we have the Wake Stone. Now, the Wake Stone works that in the way that if you have it on your person, when you die, you're actually able to, you have the choice of using the Wake Stone to resurrect your character at the spot you died. So definitely in the early game is probably where you're going to die um, the easiest because you're getting used to the game. So the Wake Stone can come in handy. But again, you will get these uh, quite a lot through the story. And I believe they are actually more frequent than the original Dragon's Dogma. The next item we're looking at is the Harpy Snare Smoke Beacons. Now you can use this to lure in harpies. They can be quite annoying if you are using especially a group of uh, um, Arisen and Main Pawns or Pawns that have no ranged attacks, which is pretty unlikely if you've got an unbalanced party like that. Next, we have the Heartfelt Pendant. There is a beloved or a relationship system in this game and various NPCs can be given gifts so you can improve their relationship with them. Now, this isn't gonna be the only one in the game and I'm not sure of exactly what boost this gives, but there is gonna be plenty of these items that you can find in the game and give to various NPCs. So I really wouldn't stress on this one either. Next up, we have the one-off consumable item, the Art of Metamorphosis. Now, this allows you to change the appearance of your Arisen or your main pawn once at a barbershop in the game. The next one-shot consumable item is the Ambivalent Rift Incense. Now, this one you can use at campfires to change the inclination and voice of your pawn. The inclination system will dictate whether your pawn's gonna run headlong into battle and face enemies straight up, or they'll hang to the back and use curatives or healing magic or attack from range. This was part of the feature of Dragon's Dogma 1, and I don't imagine that it'll be restricted this one item from the deluxe edition. Next, we have the one-shot consumable, the makeshift jail key. Now, I've already found very early on in the game that I can purchase one of these keys. This will come into play later on in the game if you're in a major city and you commit a crime, you will be taken to jail and stripped of your items. You can actually get out of the jail and break out of the jail, and I imagine this makeshift jail key will allow you to do that with some ease. Along with these items, you will also get 1500 Rift Crystals, which is primarily used as a currency to spend on hiring other people's pawns. The higher level the pawn and the higher level gap it is from you as the Arisen, the more Rift Crystals that pawn will cost to hire. But to put this in perspective, if at the start of the game you wish to hire a pawn that is not friended, friended with you, it will co cost you upwards of 2000 Rift Crystals. So even very early on in the game, this won't really be that much use, particularly because the official pawns that are released by Capcom will be zero to use if they are within your level range. So for the final item, you get the Dragon's Dogma music and sound collection. This can be enabled from the options and the sound tab, and it lets you replace the music and sound effects with Dragon's Dogma 1 sound effects and music. Now you can see it here in the menu. If you played the first game, you'll be very familiar with the sound. So there you go, a breakdown on the Deluxe Edition rewards. Now, personally, I did buy it, but I don't think it's worth it. But what do you guys think? Have you picked it up? Will you pick it up? And will you play Dragon's Dogma 2? 
If you've got any comments or suggestions, then please leave them down below. If you did like this video and found it helpful, then please leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed already, then please do so. This has been Lemon Eating Cow. Moo.